How you doing everybody? It's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video. You see the SE600 waiting for us in the background. And when you see that machine, you know exactly what time it is. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. Subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here. And without further ado, let's jump into it. You know why you're here. Let's go. All right, guys, you see it. And if you see it, seeing is believing. So I don't know what else you need to know. If you haven't purchased your SE600, use my Amazon link in the description below to purchase your machine today. Helps me out a lot. Let me turn on my machine using the power toggle switch on the side and also simultaneously insert my memory drive into the side. All right, the Brother SE600 is powering on. And once it's powered on, which it is right now, we are going to hit the touch screen. Fancy, hit okay. And what happened was this little doodad right here moved around, that little arm right there moved around a little bit. All right, so we're going to navigate on our touch screen on the SE600's touch screen. We're gonna hit this button right here because that takes us to our embroidery files. It navigates to the memory drive right there. Then we're gonna hit digitize files. Now the SE600 is gonna take a moment to think and just take a look at the SE600, guys. Use my Amazon link down in the description below. Helps me out a lot. Um, keeps me making videos like this. And it just, you know, it helps sustain my being, my living. All right, so you see these buttons right here. You just press over. We're gonna find our design. We're doing the official guide dog design now i i got the idea for this design by one of you guys all right so one of you guys um let's hit end edit and hit embroider all right so it says it's going to take two 22 minutes to stitch out and it's only one color now bear in mind that you can use any color you want but for this um design this one i'm going to use matter of fact let me pick another color i was going to use all all black but why don't I use another color? Um, what color should I use, guys? I'm going to make this one brown. Why don't I use a brown? Let me go get a brown real fast. Give me a second. All right, so we got like a brass color. That's in a brown family, right? Close enough, no? Yeah, no? What do you guys think? I'm gonna open this up and we're going to, never use this one before, so we're gonna open it up and we're going to put it into our machine here. All right, so let's take out the black that's already in here. Just wind that up so it doesn't get all crazy. Use my spool saver, set this off to the side, and we're gonna find the little thread right here. Pull it out, find it, there it is. Now these things right here, you gotta be careful because you can potentially pull it too much and mess everything up. Use, I, I normally use my little scissor and I find the one that's loose to get that out. Boom, got it, boom, there it is. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this up in here, like so, boom. Just follow a little diagram on the machine and it'll tell you exactly how to thread this bad boy up. Go around like so and down, insert it in here, over, whoa. Where did the thread go? See, let go of it. I let go of it. All right. Grab it, insert it in here, and let's see if this goes. Wow, look at that. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, guys. All right, let me pull the rest of that thread through. I like to get all of it through. All right, and I'm gonna cut off a little bit of slack. Boom. Just a little bit of slack, cut it off. All right, so we also have our hoop all set up. Our hoop is all set up. Um, we're using a tearaway stabilizer with just a piece of cloth. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in right here, insert it. Let me give you guys a closer view so you guys can see what I'm doing. As you guys can see, this Porsche part right here goes into that part right there. So just sit it on there, right? Push it in, push it down. That's it, that easy. All right, so now, we're pretty much all set up on the screen. Good to go. Over here, good to go. All that's left to do is push down this lever right here on the side. Push that down. See that change colors? And now we are ready to embroider. I'm just gonna push this button at the top here and it's gonna start to stitch out and here we go. 
See the SE600 start its action, ready to do its thing. Stitching out one of the um, paws of the dog. Well, it's not a whole dog, it's just a dog paw. Stitching out one of the paws on the dog paw. All right, so as you guys notice on the screen right here, it counts down and tells you how many stitches are left. You see that number at the top changing. That's pretty dope. And also, I think this minute right here changes as the stitches get bigger, so that's pretty cool. And it also has an arrow that tells you exactly where it is. That's pretty dope. But what I want you guys to check out is check out the pattern of this design right here. You see the, see the pattern of that design? That's pretty dope, right? That's pretty dope. I, that's something I'm playing around with, something new that I wanna start doing. I wanna start giving my design some, design some three-dimensional type of look to them and, you know, just start, start implementing, start, start stepping my game up, basically. That's all it is, stepping your game up. So, guys, allenaway.com. Go over to allenaway.com. Grab this .pes file and embroider along with me. This video is made for, and just like the other files on allenaway.com, so that when you purchase your .pes file, you have something, a point of reference to not, so you're not left alone. You uh, purchase something, you have some instructions, all right? So this is your instructions. You purchase the, the file and you load it up into your embroidery machine, your brother SE600 or your brother, um, your PE800 or your SE625, whatever machine you have, uh, SE400. Uh, load it up, come back, watch this video and stitch along with me, all right? And these are all different ways, different things that I'm trying to um, be able to do this full time. And when I'm able to do this full time, I'll not only do embroidery videos, but I'll do a whole lot more because um, I'll have more time on my hands. Just like I have time on my hands right now because this, uh, this, cause this epidemic that we're all going through. So it's a gift, but it's also a curse. If you wanna do other things, you can use this time to go ahead and be creative. If you're a content creator like me, you're rushing, well, not exactly rushing, but you're putting the time in, whereas though before you didn't have the time and you're trying to turn your, your uh, dreams into reality. And, or if, even if it doesn't happen, this time around, I'll be that much closer because I'm putting in the work, putting in the effort, and I'm doing something that I like. I enjoy making these files for you guys. It's fun. Um, and it's something, this one specifically, I feel like it's something that is very useful. Ladies and gentlemen, if it's your first time here, please take this moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you. It's cool to do something that you like to do, but when that thing that you like to do is actually helping people out, that's even more rewarding. And um, when on my live stream the other day, I had someone ask me, hey, I wanna make a guide dog. I wanna make guide, I wanna make guide dog uh, paraphernalia that can go on, onto guide dogs. And I said, well, that's a good idea. Maybe I can help you out with that. So rather than to charge him as I would do, I would normally charge somebody to digitize their file. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make something and I'm gonna throw it up on a website. And this is the first one of maybe a few of them that I'll make. I'll probably make two of them. Um, it'll still say official guide dog, but it'll have a different, a different picture in the middle of it. So one of two that I'm gonna make um, for this guide dog thing. All right, and you guys see the uh, pattern that I have in between the paws. See a little bit of black peeking through and that goes against what I'm trying to do right now. What I'm trying to do right now is, and what I advise you guys to do is, when you're stitching something out, use the same color bobbin thread at the bottom. Use the same color bobbin thread at the bottom, at the bottom of this, as thread that you're using up top. And that will prevent any thread to, of peeking through, all right? So um, just bear that in mind. So I'm gonna let this stitch out for a little while 
and I'll be right back. Just let you guys, let your design stitch out, guys, if you're following. If you purchase this file from alanaway.com, just let it stitch out. And don't forget, if you haven't purchased your SE600 yet, use my Amazon link down below to purchase your brother SE600 or your P800 or anything, large screen TV, camera, anything. Use my Amazon link down below to navigate to Amazon and it helps me out a lot, all right? Be right back. If you have any questions about anything that's going on in this video, don't hesitate to leave a comment down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you really, really fast. Thank you. So you guys see the pattern of the dog paw? Looks dope. Imagine how that would look on black on black. As a matter of fact, after we're done stitching this one out, I'm gonna show you a black on black one because that's probably the one that you guys saw clicking on this video so um yeah stay tuned all the way to the end and i'll show you both designs side by side guys but um you see that pattern i was talking about it looks really really dope um i like the way it looks it just gives it some character you know so yeah if you like this video if you're enjoying it so far give it a thumbs up if you think i should do more stuff like this like um stuff that people could actually real life people could actually use then leave a suggestion in the comment section and hey, I might just do it if I think, you know, if I think it'll work, I might just do it if it's a good suggestion. So leave your suggestions down in the comments below. Every suggestion is helpful, you know, it gives me ideas for new videos and stuff like that. And it might be something that you need, so just leave it down below. If it's your logo or something like that, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> You're gonna have to, uh, you know, hit me up awproductions at gmail.com and send me a picture of your image and if I'm capable of doing it then I'll let you know how much it costs to digitize your image that way you can start putting them on shirts and selling your product start selling your merch put them on little beanie hats or something like that and hey you're in business start making your patches stuff like that you're in business guys and I'll let you know how much it'll cost I don't try to beat anybody overhead I charge fair prices but it does depend, it does all depend on the complexity of your image. So bear that in mind, guys. All right. So the SE600 is about to stitch out the border around this paw right here. And then it's going to go to the text. All right. I'll be right back. A-Dub Productions. See that nice tight bead? Looks like a design out of one of my car seat or something like that. That is dope. And if you're, if you think that doesn't look nice, then I don't know what's wrong with you. You're lying. You're fibbing. That looks dope. That looks like an epic design right there. That just the pattern. All right. So now the SE600 is going to start doing a text. All right. Going to start doing a text right here. At this point, I mean, you can stop the machine and cut it, but I'm going to just let it go all the way through, and we'll do all. We'll save all our cuts for the end. But. If you're watching this and you're stitching it along from alanaway.com, you can stop the machine now or even before it started doing the uh, the G of the guide dog and um, and yeah and, and cut and do your trims. You can do your trims whenever. There's no right or wrong time, but you don't want like if it's interfering, you don't want to get the you know the um, stuff caught up. The uh, the loose strings caught up to to a point where you can't stitch it you can't cut it cut it loose all right so uh yeah you see the g came out nice and crispy here comes the u looks real good if you ask me so the se 600 is a really good machine for doing little simple stuff making patches mint if you if you're just starting off don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on like a three thousand dollar four thousand dollar industrial machine with like six heads if you just want to learn the concept of embroidery just want to get your feet wet a little bit hey a little bit over three hundred dollars you cannot beat this machine i've had mine for over a year and a half now still going great machine um i think honestly i'll keep keep it all the way 100, 100 with you guys I'm going to buy another one. I'm gonna buy another SE600 and ship it overseas to Dominica, the nature Isle of the Caribbean, once all this stuff blows over, so that when I go on vacation to the islands, 
I have something to do while I'm there. I can still make my videos and stuff like that. And, and I can sell, I can make patches and sell stuff while I'm in the islands. It's a whole nother income. You know I'm all about income and sustaining yourself. So look how clean and neat that looks. So if you want something this size and you have a design, nice simple design, I can do something like that for you with your logo or something like that. So hit me up. Of course, you gotta let me know what size you want it to be. If you don't know what, if you don't know have a specific size, then I'll make it like a general size, you know what I mean, that can like fit on like a beanie or something like that, or if I'm making a patch, it depends. I'm not gonna make patches that's this big, all right? I'll probably do an applicator that's this big, but a patch this big, it would take way too much thread to fill out the whole, the whole hoop. See, that wouldn't make any sense. Because a patch, you have to fill out the whole square, right? And then put the design over the top of it. So patches, I tend to make like kind of small. So keep that in mind if you want to patch. But this is something that you would stitch onto like a canvas or cloth to drape over top of the dog or something like that, all right? So bear, bear that in mind. Let it stitch out a little bit longer. And I'll be right back. A Dub Productions. See that? Looks good, right? You can do that in like a gold. This kind of looks like a gold, but this is a dope color, this bronze that I picked. This is dope. Official guide dog. AllenAway.com. Purchase yours today if you can use it. If not, then I have tons of other designs that you can choose from. All inclusive, as I like to say, for a nice low price. All right, perfect thing to do while you're cooped up in the house for the next few months. If you don't like any of the designs that I have online and you wanna do your own personal design because you have your own personal um, image, perfect time to do it. You ain't doing nothing. Get your SE600, Amazon is still delivering. It'll be to your house in the mail next few days. Use my link, hit me up. I'll digitize your design, get some shirts, and start selling your merchandise, man. Start selling merchandise, because especially, especially if you're out of work and you're looking for something to do, like an investment or something like that, it's not gonna happen overnight unless you're really, really good and good at, you know, picking stuff up really fast, but you know, you can do something like this. Look, watch me put this thing down right here. I made this the other day. Do something like that. That's my that's my brand right there. I'm gonna start selling. You know, you can do something like I got these on the website. You can purchase lift design. You can start selling those to people. You know, you can. I got the Spider-Man logo on the website that I did. Check that out. You can purchase that dot ps on the website. You know, I got all types of stuff. We got the COVID-19. I survived COVID-19 2020 patch. Do all types of stuff on the Brother SE600. So make sure, use my Amazon link down below. Don't say, oh, I did something for a client. They didn't want to, uh, me to feature their, their design, but here's another one I did. Did that real fast. Um, charge them a little bit lower than I normally charge people because it was a simple design. So um, if your design is simple, hey, you might make off like a bandit you know, but that was a really, really simple design. So, you know, hit me up, alanaway.com. Be right back with you guys and we'll review how this thing came out and we'll make the trims. I'll show you what trims you need to make. All right, be right back. Looking good though, looking good, right? If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it, thank you. All right, guys, our design is done. We're gonna pull it out and see what we came up with. Let's check it out. All you gotta do, acknowledge on the screen. It says it's done, just acknowledge okay. Goes back, ready to stitch out another one, but we're not gonna stitch out another one. We're taking this one out. Put the presser foot up, swipe once just to make sure the thread is released. Hit this button right here to release it. Pull it up and it's out. Boom, here we go right here. Look at our design. What do you guys think? Zoom in just a little bit. 
Wrong way, wrong way. All right, so you guys, gonna we're gonna need to make some, let me see if they'll stay up here for you guys. All right, okay, put them in a little groove. Okay, there you go, boom. All right, so we're gonna need to make some adjustments to this. Not adjustments, but some, a lot of cuts. I have to cut this string, all the little small strings, pretty much we're gonna cut. This one right here, this one right here, the two long ones, short one, short one, short one, short one, short one, short one, short one. All the little ones between these paws, we gotta cut right here, 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 and right here. And that should do it. So I'm gonna start cutting and I'll be right back with you guys, all right? I'm gonna cut, cut a few of them. While I'm on here with you guys. Boom. Put that scissor in there. Cut that. Boom. Just like that. Just gonna start trimming them up. All right. Put that scissor in here. Come to the beginning. Cut that. You know what I mean? Like that. So on and so forth. I'll be right back. Show you guys a clean version. Ada Productions. All right, guys. Here we go. Now, as you guys can notice, uh, sometimes all of them is not necessary to cut. Like I got still got one right here. I actually forgot to cut that one. Or sometimes the scissors. Sometimes it's not worth the risk to try to cut it, and it doesn't look that bad with it. So it's like you know, you don't need to cut every single one all the time. But as you guys can see, the design came out good. It came out clean. AllenAway.com. Purchase your .pes file today, and I showed you, told you guys, I'd show you the black one that I did. So here it is right here, gonna just drape that over top of it. And you guys can see, it's kind of harder to see the pattern inside, but yeah, you guys can see the pattern as I put it sideways. Look at the both of them, look crazy next to each other. Got, let me see if I can, oh, dropped it. Let me see if I can put them side to side, reach them down. To, we make mistakes on these videos sometimes and it's okay, cause we're human, all right? So boom. Got them side to side like that. What you guys think? Down in the comment section down below. Got the guide dog, official guide dog um, that you can put on your dog's drapery. Alanaway.com. Buy yours today. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here, and don't forget allenaway.com and purchase your .pes file so you can stitch along with this video along with any of the files that I have on the website. When you purchase that file, a video is attached to that file and it'll show you exactly where to navigate to so you can stitch along with those videos, guys. Don't forget, go to instagram.com backslash Productions. Follow me there, facebook.com backslash adub productions. Follow me there, facebook.com backslash king adub. Follow me there, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Going live tomorrow. Turn up that, crank it up, turn it up, turn it up. while I listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby.